A clash of two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden, and he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. J. Ron Curse in on the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, Jacobs. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 43, here's second down and two. Here's Pollard again. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Prescott off play action. Powering forward. Another one to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 23. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, when you're facing a receiver like this, you always come into a game thinking, we've got to put our best corner on him. We've got to find a way to get him off his route, limit his touches. But that plan, not working too well on this opening drive. That's already two catches for him. And this one, good for a first down.
They'll go with Pollard here on first down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Looking to throw. Prescott. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for, but it'll be second and goal. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives seven plays in length. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. The last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Garoppolo on first down. A dump off here to Bolden. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. On first down, Garoppolo. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. 
He's got it to the 43 here. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Garoppolo now. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people round the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now a run with a fullback, Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. He'll take this down to the 26-yard line. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Where they were on the field, kind of no man's land. Do you like the call? I love the call. Almost had to go for it there, right, because of what you just described. Too far for the field goal, too short for the punt. You might punt in the end zone and just give them good field position anyway. Let's go for it. Plus, they were moving the ball. They had confidence that they could pick up this last bit of real estate. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. From the 20, here's a second and four. Play action, Garoppolo. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Now Garoppolo. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and goal from inside the five. Garoppolo. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And that will be incomplete as well. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points will be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Carlson able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yes. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. On the draw, it's Pollard. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fielded at about the 28. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Garoppolo to throw. He's got Hooper on the short connection. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Damone Clark fought his way through and buried him behind the line. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. 
And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. The Raiders on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and 19. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here's Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. On the return, Carter. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Following the interception, here's Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
they've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. It's showtime, baby. I got you, baby. Let's go, baby. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Prescott now. And that's complete to Cooks. So just three yards on the completion there. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Prescott. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half, relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Raider offense heading back for one final first half drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Micah Parsons. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. You sure you're ready for the third quarter? Need to use the bathroom or anything? All right, cool. Let's go. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 41, here's second and six. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 68 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. A first down throw for Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So give him two yards there on the completion at its second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Right 
From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Able to hit his target lane. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 26. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Running right, it's Pollard. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 21, here's the second and five. On play action, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks from 21 yards away. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 21. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 27. Here's second and four. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. The throw taken in by Cole. Play fake. Garoppolo. Pass thrown to Adams. He's got it on the crossing route. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. On play action, now Garoppolo. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are gonna have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So still no touchdowns allowed by this defense. They get the interception there. CD, they have been rock solid. And at this point, I think they have to expect that they're gonna see some shots taken down the field. And that was almost a desperation throw right there. Just kind of hoping something good can happen. A completion, a pass interference. But this was anticipated well, and they came up with the INT. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. 
To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Prescott from the gun. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. First and ten, Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up throwing Prescott the short one there taken in by Ferguson they get six that'll leave them with third and four Brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Prescott on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson, 37 yards. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result, so... Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Garoppolo. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. So the completion good for six yards, and now two yards to go on third down. 
One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And finding Keelan Cole. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. On first down, Garoppolo. Over the middle, he's got Mayer. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. He's got Cole on the slant. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 22 now, here's second down and one. Once again, it's Jacobs. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. That one complete to Horstead. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On the intercept, Garoppolo for the third time. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance of victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly. And what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Prescott now on second down. That is caught by Lamb. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, 
they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And Pollard going to pick up a Cowboys first down as he's brought down at the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Garoppolo again here on second and ten. He's got a man complete. 36 yards on the play. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. Pass the 20. Look at the big man rumble. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Michael Mayer, 45 yards. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Garoppolo looking to throw for it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. 
I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Now, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.